Some of you are chafing under the, the betrayal of John Boehner and other Republican leaders who just thumped Obama in the 2014 election. And you're going, well, well, I, don't, I don't get it. Why is he doing this? Why won't he stand up to Obama? Why is he betraying us? And what I want you to see is that Boehner's betrayal and other Republicans like Mitch McConnell and other leaders of the Republican Party, their betrayal is a, is a pattern. It's a well-trodden path. If you remember, when the Republicans took control of the House in 2010, there was a lot of news coverage that John Boehner and the Republicans were going to defund Planned Parenthood. You remember that? Planned Parenthood is a criminal syndicate. Okay, it is literally involved in the criminal activity of, of helping pedophiles, helping pimps who have underage girls in sex slavery. Planned Parenthood is one of the most demonic and wicked organizations on the planet, accumulating over 200,000 dead babies a year in their facilities with, with, that they butcher. They are cursed, okay? But Obama said, no, we want to fund him. And Boehner, boom, just caved in like a house of cards. He ran like a scared schoolgirl at the playground, okay? That's John Boehner. And when, when the 2014 elections came around, remember, this is a Republican Party that says marriage is between a man and a woman, right? Boehner went out of his way to take money that well-meaning Americans like you and I have sent to the Republican Party, to various um, big umbrella groups that fund congressional campaigns to get around the, um, the election laws that only allow a certain amount of money to be given to a campaign. He went out of his way and gave at least $14,000 to three candidates, three Republican candidates, who were diehard supporters of child killing, and of same gender matrimony, okay? So called. In other words, he, he betrayed God, betrayed the babies, betrayed marriage, took hard earned money from other people that they entrusted to him to spend wisely, and gave it to people who are in open rebellion to God. Two of those candidates are in so called same gender matrimony, two men. This is disgusting, but this is the pattern. And this is why I call him a Judas. And so now when we see him cave in on illegal immigrants and, and ram through this massive, huge omnibus bill that almost was defeated by some, God love them, some true God-fearing Republicans, was almost stopped. Um, but Boehner just rammed it through and people are just angry and they're bitter and saying, why, how come, uh, and, and they're new to this, all right? You're, you're new to this sense of betrayal. It's part of the pattern. Don't you get it? It's part of the pattern. He's not one of us. He is a Judas. He's in our midst. He's in the Republican Party. For those of you that are Republicans, he says the words like Judas said the words, but he is a traitor, okay? And I ask you, ethically, what are the most important things on the planet? The number one crime that men commit against men is murder. It is the chief sin that cries out to God for judgment. And he gave money to three candidates who support murder. He funded Planned Parenthood. So as we watch him and we're frustrated, ah, this is the pattern. We need to get this guy out of office. We have got to find a candidate to run against him in the Republican primary to defeat him and fund that candidate, send money to that candidate, and, and, and do everything we can to put John Boehner's political scalp on a wall and say, thus shall it be to the, to the traitors, to the Judases, who say that they are a Catholic Christian or a Christian, and then they betray God, betray the, the, the teachings of the scriptures, betray the teachings of the church, 
and think that they can get away with it because no one is going to hold them accountable. But could it be the judgment of God? Yeah, I'm talking about like a Babylonian judgment where the Jews are going, Babylon is more corrupt than us. And God saying, yes, but I'm still going to use them to judge you. Do you want to get America out of the hands of wicked and unjust men and women who are destroying the republic before our eyes and put leadership back into the hands of righteous men and women so that we don't die as a nation? Well, you're talking about social revolution and there are rules in social revolution. We can look at the victorious social revolutions of the past, such as the end of slavery, the end of child labor, women's voting rights, the end of segregation, and so much more, and learn from their victories. Look at their actions, their images, their rhetoric, their sacrifices, and their final fruit. We will send you this series that originally cost $129, seven books for students, one teacher's guide, if you'll give a gift of any size and just pay for shipping and handling. Take advantage of it today.